You're right. <laughs> You're right. I'm right. You're right. I'm right. I like being right. Who does it? <laughs>
knocking the Italians off the podium. The Italians were the heavy favorites for that third place. They were in third going into the free skate, having a rough free. Unfortunate for them, you know, with the, the Grand Prix being in their home country, uh, I'm sure they were really looking forward to being able to secure a medal there. But the young Russian team doing some good stuff, you know, definitely showing some effort in the artistic side, looking to try and create moments, uh, still looking a bit junior to me and, and fresh on the scene, but uh, interested to see where this team goes. So Dylan, given what we've seen on the Senior Bs and at the Grand Prix circuit so far, would you say that heading into the Olympics, this is just going to be a fight between China and Russia? Well, I think it's important to mention that there are some outside strong contenders from Canada and the U.S. However, China and Russia are the powerhouses in the pair event. Halfway through the Grand Prix season, we've seen a lot of strength from both sides. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see which teams end up on that podium at the Olympics, but both are showing that they want it. So that's all we've got for the pairs. Write, uh, write down in the comments what you think, who will win the Olympics, who between China and Russia and any outside players are going to be the dominant force for this Olympic season. Uh, be sure to like, subscribe, you know the drill, and watch out for the rest of our event recaps from Gran Premio de Italia.